Alrighty, so here in the country I was born in, we do have a 240 volt, and I'm going to show you how to wire a 240 volt circuit for uh, an electric dryer. So we have to uh, pull a few of these uh, staples out here. And we will drill our hole. And we're going to use a some uh, Ten Three Romex, and if you look here, it's nice to see it's made here in the country I was born in. That's a great thing to see. Okay, so we'll put our Romex connector in here. So we got to get our white up to here and our ground up to here. Nice and tight. Get untwisted. So I'll bring up enough to So I come up to that one and that one. Okay, I'll look under here and make sure I'm not pinching anything. Okay, so I will uh, come bring it over this way. back. I'll make a bend here and I will staple it. So this is number 10, we use a 30 amp breaker for number 10. This is a 
220, 240 volt line here. The amperage rating is the same as your 120 volt circuits. Okay, now I'll bring this down so that the uh, jack is only a quarter of an inch into the box. Push this man, where is the way here? Okay, so first we will take, we have our red which is live, the black which is live, our white is neutral, and we're going to put our ground wire right up here. So I'm going to push it back into the corner of the box here. Bring it up and I'm going to make, I'm going to put my pliers on the area where I'm going to make my bend. Make my bend right there. And I'll cut it right up here. Okay, I'll make sure it's through all the way, and it is. Okay, so next we'll get our white wire. And we gotta get it into this one up here. Right here. So I'll loosen this one up. I'll bend it down into the corner of the box here. down to the corner here. I'll bend it right here. Now this is number 10. Here in the country I was born in we use our, our wires all American wire gauge. 10 is for 30 amps, 12 is for 20 amps, and 14 is for 15 amps. Okay, so I will bring it back into here, bring it back this way, get it back into here where I want it. back in here so it's nice and neat. So this is for a stackable washer and dryer. Okay, so this is a 50, this is a 30. So we'll put our red on the top one here. So I'll push it down, bring it over, and I will come over to the breaker right here.
we'll do the same with our black wire. I'll bend it down to the corner of the box here. Come up. I'll bend it over right about here. And I'll cut it about right here. With 220-240, you're using a double pole breaker. That's how you get your 240. If you put a single pole breaker in, you're getting 120. So for your standard outlets here in the country I was born in, we use a single pole breakers, 120 volt. And for a 220-240, like your water heater, your stove, your dryer, we use a double pole breaker. 30 amps for your dryer and uh, 50 amps for the stove. And there it is all done. You can see the shadow in the back of the wires going in. That mean, look, some of them look crooked. So that is how a 220-240 volt circuit is wired here in the country I was born in. We would use number 10 on 30 amps, which we did there for our dryer, or it could be for a stackable washer and dryer, and for a stove. And with a stove, it's wired the same way, but the wire is heavier, and that's number 6 American wire gauge. Peace. Thanks for watching.